This is just a short video to give you a few hints in using your SP445 film processing system. Um, it's not intended as a complete how to develop film uh, tutorial. You'll have to check with the chemistry you're using and the film you're using it with. Um, but anyway, the first thing to talk about is filling the tank. Uh, it should be pretty obvious, seems pretty simple, but there's a few subtleties that you probably want to know about. Um, the first thing in our previous video, we showed, when we showed you how to load the tank, we suggest leaving the caps on just in case you find a, you left the light baffle out. Well, if everything's okay, you can take those caps off. Um, you'll notice that the two, the, the two outlets, one, one is labeled fill drain, the other is labeled vent. You're going to want to pour all the liquid in and out of the fill drain side. Um, you want the caps off when you're filling it so the vent can do its job. So now you can take uh, 475 milliliters, about 16 ounces, of your favorite processing solution and just pour it in. Now as soon as I have the tank full, I'll wrap it a couple times to knock any bubbles loose and that's when I start my timer. Want to be consistent with that every time. And by doing it then, you don't have to be in a complete panic mode to get these caps back on. So I like to put the vent cap on first. And now here's another little trick. Squeeze the tank just enough that you can see the, the liquid rise just a little bit and then put on the other cap. Now the atmospheric pressure is going to squeeze this thing together and you can start your agitation cycle. Okay, now we know there's no more contentious topic and more misunderstood topic in analog film than the whole issue of agitation. And we're not going to try to solve that here. Um, we're just going to say everybody's going to come up with their own answer. What we found is a good starting place is four inversions every 30 seconds. Again, you're going to want to experiment, develop your own recipe, and figure out what works best for your film, the way you shoot that film, and the chemistry you're using to process that film. Okay, let's skip to the end of the process, probably the fixer bath. Now before your timer runs out and you empty the tank, you'll want to have the rinse water set to the right temperature and the right flow rate. Now fortunately for our demo, the tap water happens to be at exactly the right uh, temperature. So we'll remove the two caps. Now if you're going to reuse your fixer, you would uh, pour it back in the bottle. I'm just going to pour this out. And then position the tank underneath the running water with the water flowing in the um, fill drain um, outlet. Now, our testing indicates that 7 to 10 minutes of slowly running water will provide a sufficient wash. I do dump the tank three or four times uh, during the wash cycle, mainly out of habit. But it's important for you to test your own unique setup uh, using a residual fixer test kit to make sure your negatives are free of fixer. Okay, so we're going to time warp again and jump to the end of the wash cycle here. You're probably going to want to use a wetting agent to help your negatives dry without spots or streaks. So to do that, um, we're going to empty the tank again. And I'm going to add about, oh, six drops of our uh, H2O flow wetting agent and refill the tank. We recommend you use continuous agitation with this. Um, you don't have to get violent about it. Oops, I forgot the squeeze. Give that thing a squeeze there. And now we can agitate um, for like I say about 60 seconds. This would be a good time uh, to remind everyone that you need to develop, ignore the pun, but you need to develop your own practices for what works best for you. And don't be afraid to experiment. There are so many variables in black and white photography that the possibilities are almost infinite. So you're probably getting bored, so I'm going to time warp this forward. Now, to take the uh, lid off, I found the best thing to do is hold it, the tank in the palms of my hands and just wiggle the, the lid off with my fingers. And now we can... Just that negative should just slide right out of the film holder. And we'll just hang that up to dry. The um, 
Don't forget when you're done here to rinse off the baffles and rinse out the tank. Make sure it's all clean for the next time you use it. Uh, we would appreciate it, and the other users would appreciate it, if you share your favorite recipes. You can post them on our Facebook page, join our Flickr group, or send us an email. Maybe you get featured in one of our blog posts. Again, for more information, visit our websites, either stearmanpress.com or shop.stearmanpress.com.